Hey guys, and welcome back to Bay Hunter's run of Cave Factory. Today we're going to be expanding out our create installation and hopefully finishing off Britannia and expanding into the Hellfire Forge. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so after looking at some stuff, I realized that we need to speed this shit up. An easy way to do so that I've found is by uh, swapping back and forth between small and large gears in the correct order. Because if we use small gears then large gears, <coughs> the system gets a little bit confused by it and we end up with more speed coming up. Now we just need to find where we put all of our small gears if we even have any left. So if they're anywhere, they're going to be out of the back. We're also going to look into expanding into the storage set of this. Uh, small gates, there we go. So we just need to... No, that's not going to work. We're just going to need to chuck some stuff. Cobbles down. So cobble down. Okay, small gear onto the cobble. So if we instead go like this and then hook a big gear onto this. Oh, it has to be diagonal and way. Okay, that makes more sense. So, this should be spinning a little bit faster. <clears throat> Though I can't really notice a difference. It's unfortunate. Alternatively, and now we've got to work out how to redo that. Uh, alternatively, what we can do no, that's not going to work either. How in the hell did I do this? Alternatively, because I can't honestly remember how I set this up. What we can do is we can make something called, and I think we may have made them before. We can take a gearbox <coughs> and make a vertical gearbox out of it. And we should have some gearboxes around already. Alright. So we're going to just knock all of this out of the way. We're going to put that mixer back where it was, because that is our target. And then... We're just going to put in a gearbox here, change it to a vertical, and there we go. Though there is currently not enough mechanical speed to get what we need, <coughs> what we can do is go what I like to call the schmucks route. We'll take this out, sew all this shit in here. Uh, we need to get some sticks, so we can just knock this down. Uh, 
Uh, so the other part of this is that we're going to need some more wood because this isn't going to be enough six. So we'll just collect up a stack of pebbles and we'll start splitting. Now, as you can see, this is going very fast now. Uh, normally, I would have to accelerate through this, but we are getting enough of these pebbles quickly enough that we don't really need to do this now. The way I'm doing this is with something called an auto clicker. Specifically, in my case, auto clicker exe, <coughs> which makes tedious things like this so much easier. I also have picked up the fact that if you hit K, we can just auto craft. Yes, I'm picking up basic things. Taking me long enough. Right. So we'll chuck this stuff into the conversion hole, since the old one is currently filled with water. I've also learned, and we'll take care of what I the other thing that I've learned after, that we can actually Make something worthwhile with berries. So we're just going to collect up enough berries to fill up this side. And collect up more. We'll move the white daisy soon. <clears throat> but now what we should be able to do now that these are finished converting we're going to smack these into these oops we're going to need this first so two of these here four of these here gives us a cutting board fortunately I've made the wrong cutting board though so we're just going to find the other kind of cutting board Right, we need a brick, a stick. Of course we do. It's okay, this is all going to be much more worth it very, very shortly. So we'll just chuck this into here, smelt it real quick. We'll chuck all of this into here as well. <clears throat> now it's just one, two, and three. Oops. Gives us this. Three of these give us these. And that is the most efficient way to get food. So, next up. We need to find some andesite. Preferably inside ingots. But normal will do as well. Alright, in that case, we'll head through because I know that we've got some inside -y stuff over here. And if not, we have our hip iron the crafting table. Nope. Alright, in that case. We'll break down all of this. Take enough of those. Turn the rest of this back into ingots. Uh, we'll then go and chuck this coal over to our flowers so we can keep on getting more mana. 
not what I meant to do. And now we can make electric box ton of sticks. Which we're going to use to make there it is. A lot of sail frames. Right. So we'll just break this down. Turn this off. And then we are going to just start tunneling down. But now we should be able to turn this back on, which still makes this not have enough mechanical speed. That's unfortunate. I got that. Alright, screw it. How far into this wall is it? Are we clipping? Ooh! That is going considerably through. <laughs> okay. That's uncomfortable. Anyway, uh, so next thing we need to be working on is. We need to get a gearbox set up. Actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock this and this out. Going to be grabbing the both kinds of gearbox. Starting with the normal one. Split it off in two directions. And the vertical, which will give power to over here. We then need to grab a shaft, which were over here. And we're going to set up over here a we're gonna reset up our grinding wheels means we're probably going to need some more gear ships, uh, gearboxes. We're also going to need a mechanical press to start off with. So, just to start with, we're going to chuck the mechanical press down here and chuck a piece of iron underneath it. Partly just to show off what it does. Press goes bonk, gives us a iron sheet. Now, we only ever need to make that once, because now that we have one, we can put it into here. We never need to make one again, because we can just fill them up. Right. Next up, we can remove this. We've got our crushing wheels on us. This can go back into here. And we need to make some gearboxes. Oh, uh, gearbox is four gears. All right, four of the little gears. We'll leave one behind. Make two gearboxes. Then we got this inside casings. Chuck these into the middle. Chuck these around it. We got two gearboxes.
Alright, so got this one here. Then another gear, another shark. Then another gearbox. Then a pair of shafts with the crushing wheels going on either side. That's that built. Now, something that I didn't do before, and I'm not honestly sure where I put the things that I got from it, were... The... Where are you? Shoots. Which are easy enough to make, we just need some iron plates. And some andesite alloy. <clears throat> Means we might end up actually needing another one of those after all. Well, me needing this for a little bit longer after all. Uh, so we'll just. I'm gonna need two of her. Two lots of it for now. So they're just gonna smack that down. Just because we've only got gold in here at the moment. We're also just going to check around to see if I've got any anywhere. It does not seem like it. Okay. That's completely understandable though. So we'll just chuck these at the bottom, chuck the inside on top, gives us eight shoots. I didn't realize I gave us multiple. Alright, so I'm gonna mine out above here. It's something I wasn't aware of before this. Is that we're gonna need one more thing. There's always one more thing. Uh, something I wasn't aware of before this was that you can grind more things than just your cobbles. In fact, you can grind most things. So we're gonna just take some of this actually we'll need four we're gonna need two chests we'll chuck one of them there with a shoot beneath it another one right down here shoot above it then we're going to start chucking iron ore into here. And then in a minute, while we chuck the rest of this stuff in, uh, that should be everything we need. Down here we should start picking up resources. Might take a little while to start off with, but it should come out eventually. And there we go, we have four pieces of crushed iron ore. Would have been great if I had have checked how much I put in. But, we also got three pieces of crushed gold. Which, if you look, there is a 30% chance of getting three pieces of gold, crushed gold, and a guarantee of getting one. And the same is true for the iron. But we're just going to start chucking every all of our resources of that nature into here. That way we'll end up with a little bit more of that on our side. It also puts out some uh, cobblestone, which means that we shouldn't have to pick up pebbles anytime again soon. We're also just going to unload for a quick sec. Just so we can load all of this in. And for in here, that'll do. Right. Down here, we've got some more. A bunch of coal, really. A little bit of coal, some crushed iron ore. We'll chuck the cobble down here. Right. 
we're also going to just come in here and start collecting up all of our smeltable resources as well. Because as much as I could just smelt it, this will give me more resources. Oh shit. Get out of here. Alright. That was too close. By a lot. I did not appreciate it. <clears throat> now we'll just load the rest of this stuff in. And that is all good to go now. Uh, just check that we can't chuck anything else in here. No, that can't be crushed. We can make oak wood by picking it though. Just need to kill these guys quickly before they manage to drop me. Right, that's creeper gone, skeleton gone. We need to make a door. We're also going to need to seal off this area. I don't really care what we're using except for that right now. But we're just going to block off their entrance to here. Down to just a door. I'm honestly surprised that nothing has just popped up right behind me and exploded while I was doing that. That is just my luck. <laughs> So for now, we should be good. Uh, we're also going to just start knocking out this wall. Because if we've expanded out like in the way that we have, we don't really need to have this here anymore. And in fact, it's kind of getting in the way. So we're also going to just drop out this. And set it back up over here. So that way we can just take the resources out of here. Actually, what we might do instead. Is. We have more chests in here. We'll just make a hopper. Just make it a little bit more automated. So we'll just pick this up back up again. Drop the door so we can. Eat this as well. Let's drop this into here and. Right. That's the issue. Oh crap, that's a lot of redstone. Holy shit. Alright, we've got a couple more ores that we can get rid of here. We'll chuck all of these. Anything that's burnable into here. Uh, also, just going to start making redstone blocks just for sake of storage. I was not expecting quite this much redstone. Uh, we'll also just start dumping out all this extra crap we've got on me right now. Holy hell. You gotta admit, that's a little bit better. Full stack of redstone and then some. Cool. And we've got more redstone on the way. 
so what we'll do is we will just mine down one further. Find what the hell happened to our hopper. Chuck the hopper, oh, chuck the furnace down here. And the hopper into the top. So the coal can go in here, this can go in here. We need to get one more hopper. So, take that out. Right, maybe this isn't the greatest of ideas. <clears throat> the very least, <clears throat> uh, we'll need to make one more hopper. Bring this right down to the bottom. And one more chest at the base. Which means that this should keep on filtering out. We we'll also keep forgetting about these. <clears throat> we'll take the butcher's cleaver. We'll spend some levels to unlock some more slots. Just so that we've got those extra slots, really. Right. I will also just chuck these things to the very bottom of the list. I don't honestly know what happens to coal when you cook it, but hell, we'll find out soon. But we'll also just quickly chuck in these extra ores we picked up while we're doing this. Alright. So, other things that I've learned recently include that a stone pickaxe can be made amazing. But so can an iron pickaxe. We're going to take this iron ingot and we're going to go fix our iron pickaxe. One. Put this here and that there. We'll fix it a little bit at the very least. Then what we have the ability to do is actually give it haste. And now our iron pickaxe that we had earlier can now smash through things real fast. <clears throat> so, going into our quest book, though, what we're going to look at is this the small block breaker, which needs an observer, an iron pick, a block of redstone, and some metal bars, which are just three pieces of iron. Easily not done. We just need to hopefully cook out some iron sooner or later. There we go. Already taken care of. We'll chuck this gold into here while we're here. Okay, so all we need to find now is just some nether quartz and we are good to go. I would have assumed it would have been in the chest right next to the nether portal. But, this is why assuming makes an ass out of you and me, I suppose. Right. If we can't find it in the in these chests, then we'll head back through to the nether and grab some from there. There we go. Now, 
Uh, if we just look for it over here, we should be able to find it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Or not. Uh, it's just called a small block breaker. <clears throat> so we'll take on it from here. Need some redstone. And we're also going to need some sticks again. Plus side, we have more bamboo so we can just grab it easy. So we make the six, we make the pick. We make this observer. And we make some metal bars. And then we've got everything we need to make a small block breaker. This thing is awesome. <clears throat> We're gonna leave those things for now. But uh, the reason why this is so awesome is uh, we're going to need our wrench for this because this is worth showing off. If we just give it a quick flip, how am I meant to spin you around then? Alright, we'll do it this way then. We just grab this. Look it down here, and it's just going to break all of the blocks come through, which might not seem like much, but what that enables us to do is start breaking automatically. So we're going to need a couple of iron buckets. Also just dump in a bunch of other stuff while I'm at it. Iron buckets. We should have at least one lying around somewhere. Okay, well then in that case we'll just make them. So instead of that, we just grab a piece of lava. Could have been back there. There you go. Piece of lava. Get some water. And somewhere out of the way, probably not in the way of that either, we're going to set up a stone generator. Not to be confused with a coal stone generator. So what a stone generator looks like is simple and like this. I don't think that's quite right. And it gets back to the same problem. Bit. Hmm. I can't remember how I meant to do this. Because this would give us a cobblestone generator, <clears throat> but not a stone generator. Because this technically has a chance of giving a stone occasionally. Like, it's about a 50-50 chance, if memory serves correct. Let's just open this up. Everything's well lit. <clears throat> It's time we give it a much more open air policy. So if I put this here, that will break that. And then we're going to need a hopper. Makes me very glad that we're getting a lot of iron recently. Hope we don't have any more. <laughs> Of course we don't. Right, there's two right there, so... 
We'll chuck two of these at the top of the list so we can grind that out. That's two more. Now, even if we get bare minimum from this, we still have enough to make us the iron we want. Just break this real quick. Oh, crap. Okay. That's not too bad. So we'll just start throwing away cobbles until we get what we are after. And hopefully. Thank fuck for that. So what we're going to do now is we need to put a chest here. We need to chuck the extra iron into here, with the golds and the other things. And then, we should... We should have some... Iron smelted by now. Nope. This is getting backed up. Right. We only peeled out one piece of iron coal. Take that out and put this in instead. Sake. And then the same deal here. Take it out, put that in instead. Put these back up top. And that should give us the item we need. Cool. Now that isn't breaking is beyond me. So one, two, three, and we have a hopper. So now we have that set up, we can chuck down a piece of cobble here, what, facing the wrong way, there we go, so that's not perfect, but it is now set up so that we can collect up all of our resources. And sooner or later, we'll come along and so we'll smash out another piece here. That was a poor idea. <sighs> Damn. Uh, we'll smash out the other side, then. I'm an idiot. Didn't think about smashing it towards the other side. Good deal. Right. If we knock this out of the way, place that. Now we have the double that I was after. And now we can climb our ass out. There we go. The rest of that's just cobble. We're good. Alrighty, so next thing up is we'll stow away all this crap that we've just picked up and some of the useful things we've just picked up. Take that back because it can go back where it belongs. We're going to collect up these three items. I don't know what the factory hopper does, but... This little dude here is part of one of my favorite mod packs ever created, the Compact Claustrophobia Pack. What we can do with it, we just chuck it down here, get our personal shrinking device, and now we have a full area. 
inside that one cube. Which means we can do anything we want in that cube, and generally it doesn't lag out any systems as much as having it out in the wild does. This guy's stuck. What a waste of potential mana. Potential blood? Potential blood. Right. So that's that remind up. Also get rid of this door. And there we go. This entire section is now open. Well, more open, actually. Uh, chucking this extra crap. And soon enough, we'll have everything a little bit cleaner. Right. Uh, next quest could be the close fan. Uh, I just want to have a look at what our rewards are for all these. I think we might go for this. The draw controller. Which will help us set up things like this a little bit better. So, what we need for a draw control um, is this. Which means all we should be missing is sticks. Six. Cool. So from here we can grab our draw controller, grab this, grab that, make six of these, which coincidentally is the exact amount that we need. We've chucked our quartz away somewhere. So that should be everything we need for this now, except for another draw of some description. Uh, now we can make ourselves a draw of some description. And then we should be able to just chuck this all together. And there we go. Draw controller completed. You get a draw key, quantifier key, and an advanced item collector. Just clear up some space again. So we can collect these up. So. These things are amazing, because what they let us do with a draw control here is absolutely nothing. But, and this is a very important but, if we go into the storage section, we can make a storage inventory, which we should, I think, ended up out the back. Also going to need these. We go storage inventory storage request table uh do we end up with any of the other kind of pipes no right so that's where I, that's where they ended up uh so we'll just go and set this stuff up uh so we'll set up these two right here I think uh, that way around. Or did I need another piece of the storage system before I could do this? We don't have those. Storage network root is what I needed. We need a block of quartz, so we're going to have to go back into the nether. Far side, nether isn't that dangerous anymore. Downside, we have no food. Uh, so let's just grab some more berries before we go. Right, and we should have a cutting board around here somewhere. Now, the other upside of what we've set up in the other room is that we can now set up... Because of an issue we were having earlier was that we didn't have enough clay coming out. Right, cool. 
Uh, so what we can actually do is we can set up a bunch of clay, a bunch of cobble being sent through, which will then turn into gravel, which will turn into, um, which will turn into sand. And when it turns into sand, then we have a chance of dropping clay balls. Except we can do it in bulk, especially with a little setup down here. Uh, we're going to need to mine back these stairs one further back. So we've got full stacks of cobblestone, ready to go, some diamond, and some iron ore. And plus side is, cobble herb, gravel doesn't get cooked. We can take out this coal and chuck it straight into the system. We can then come over here, drop drop resources in. Honestly, we if it wasn't for what we're about to do now, we might even want to use this in storage. But for now, let's go and get ourselves some nether quartz. Mine out all of these. We need four, four blocks of quartz, which means we need 36 quartz all up. Realistically, we need to get something like Fortune or a similar enchantment onto here. We've got 14 already, which isn't bad. But let's just grab this stuff up here. Oh my kingdom for some vein miner. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Shit. I just fell back into the lava and grew a tree somehow. Right, we need to get back through that portal so we can get to some kind of... Okay, we don't need to get to water. We've got 21 now. Almost died in the process. Uh, we just need to find quartz. There's some and there's some. And more over here. We do seem to be growing trees as we run around. Isn't exactly what we're going for, but it's a nice, fun little side effect, I suppose. So, remember, 36 is what we need. I would rather a little bit more. Like, say, a full stack would be nice. That gives us exactly 36 now. Because we needed four blocks. For this, plus some network cables. Yeah, we need the four blocks for now. Magneto. Adam's XP coming from further away. That's empty. Do I need to do something to trigger that, or...? Okay. So, say we throw that away. That pulls it straight to us. That's really cool, actually. Alright. If we can't spot some more easily, there's some more. We can grab the quartz. God damn it. And 
then, then we'll head back. So, I'm pretty sure it's full nine to make one of these. No, it's only four. That's convenient. Three, four. Now we need to get some more iron so that we can make more. Uh, we need to get some more iron so we can make some more of the uh, cables. Cables are going to be very important in this, so we are going to need a fair few. Cable, iron. So it's two iron, six slabs. And then it's for this storage inventory. That's not what we were after. Was it? What is, no, storage network route. Network cable, yeah. Quartz and a diamond in the middle. Immediately we've got a diamond. So one, two, three, four, and the quartz in the corners. Gives us another completed quest. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, cool. So we can now put things connect we can connect things to this now. For example, if we go like this. Port cable. No. Let's try that then. So if we have a look on here now. Apparently that won't work. What if instead we hook this down here? That is very odd and I don't like it. This is my first time trying to use this mod, mind you. Got another compacting drawers. Network exchange interface we can't make just yet because we don't have enough blaze powder or redstone for that matter. <sighs> Maybe we need an import cable? Means we're going to need to get more iron. Hopefully we'll have some more down here by now. Yep, plenty. All stack of ten. Take all the lapis, the diamonds, the redstone. <clears throat> Getting clogged up with gravel. All right. So we'll start unloading all this crap we'll grab it down from in this hopper more crap take that gravel out take the coal out take the redstone out oops uh, we don't have anything else in here that's worth getting Iron ore can go straight into here for now. And the aluminium can go back to there. 
That'll give us the iron straight up. Chuck the gravel into here. So then push through, turn into sand. Sand will get cooked in the glass. So we need five pieces of iron. Convenient timing, as always. <coughs> uh, we need a another chest, which we do not seem to have any left of. Then we'll need a hopper. Now we need more of this bullshit. More iron. We'll sort this container out again. And we just need some stone there. Uh, the cobble can go back up here as well. So we can start smashing it down. We need that, 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 that. Make this. Then one, two, three, four around the hopper. Is this an import cable? Right, I don't think we have. Actually, we could make that, but I'd rather not just yet. Does this give any description? Same as import cable, can be configured and upgraded. Import stuff from inventory to the network. Cable used to link other inventories to the network. Use it to connect storage, draw, controller, and a few diamond chests in your set. At least until you get one auto crafting. Alright, so what happens if we just chuck a chest down here? But we have a free hand, we should be able to just No? So what we do with this. Odd. That used to work. Oh. We'll set up another chest over there, I suppose. Just to test it out. And if we load this up in, not what I wanted. Still nothing connected. Maybe this is the wrong thing to connect this to then. Maybe it should be the center one. No? I think I've actually got these the wrong way around. So I think it should be this one on the bottom and then this one on top of it. These don't seem to be connected for some reason. We'll try using some of those import cables I just made. No? There's the network cable. That's what the problem is. I'm using export cables, not a link cable.
Tons of moss right there. Alright. Let's hide. Please. You know the chest. All three of these. All three of these. Sorry, two of those. I ended up making one too many of both. And that should work. One, two, three, four, and the chest goes in the middle. That's the issue. I'm using the wrong kind of cable type. So if I'm not mistaken, this should work now. With this connecting it. There we go. Now we have a working system. Got five ingots in there. Actually just break this down. Slowly but surely. And we're going to put the compacting drawers back into that pot. And put, then put the iron back in there. Right. So we've now got a bit more working. While I'm crouched, I couldn't be able to pick it up. We're just going to start unloading and reloading up in here. But what we can also do is we can get uh, some cobblestone. Just four of the stuff. Sorry, eight of the stuff. We can make another furnace. And if we chuck that down here, grab an export cable. This seems to be what the export cable is for. If we chuck that into there, chuck this into here, we should be able to access all of the coal. No, that didn't work. Maybe it was an import cable I want. There we go. We can access everything that's in there as well now. I think. Right. So. If we. This is creepy as well. Uh, if we now get a bunch of wood and start making 4x4 four four drawers. Which shouldn't be too hard to make, I don't think. I think they're just like this. With that like that. Yep. Two by twos. Smash out this. Chuck that in its place. And now we have network cables, link cables, export cables, and import cables. Uh, around here somewhere we should have some keys. Just slap them into a chest before. So I don't care about the quantify key, I just want to lock this lock. So what this does is it stops anything else from going in here and it also locks those objects in place. So nothing else can go into that spot. Oh, crap. We're probably going to have to move this up around. Uh, but for now we'll also up one of these to here. And we'll start just chucking everything we've got into spots. Including draws. Now, because we've got we seem to be losing our hair ingots every time we do that. Uh, 
and none of those are connected in. It must be one of these per thing. Right. In that case, we need an axe. Before we wrap up for today, we're just going to make an axe, smash that down, and then between stream, between between recordings, force of habit is going on there. Uh, we are going to do some tidying up and organize this stuff. So we want. What we're going to want to need to do is we're going to need to make a couple more sticks. Make some patterns. Chuck the patterns into that one, that one. So we need a tool handle. And a banding for this, this, whoops, wrong thing. I will go to an axe. One, two, and three. This is lightweight. Let's mean to mine faster and cultivated too. Uh, so we'll just get that. We'll smash these out. Because part of this is made out of wood, we should be able to fix it with wood. But we're just going to test that theory. Nope. Apparently not. Oh. But, yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. We will start working on actually mining this area here out, just so we can start storing away more resources. And when we're done with it, we're going to be able to have all of this set up a bit better. Oof. But until then... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. Tell me, what mod is your favorite for storage? Because I've never used drawers before. I've only ever used the completely computerized version. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll be back next Sunday. Same fade time, same fade place.